Hey, what's up, everyone? It's Zach, aka Keats39, here to bring you another episode of the Starting Five. Um, this is take two of that because I literally probably finished recording the last one 20 minutes ago. Uh, finished and hit the got uh, news that the um, short out of the the Grizzlies Trailblazers game got uh, postponed. So, and that had three of my plays. That, that was going to be the best game sack by by far. A lot of good value, a lot of good studs. So, uh, make it make, makes a uh, slate a lot harder. So, um, may, it can still be a fun slate. So, uh, we're gonna get right into it. Um, so first of all, we're, the, the new game I like is this Orlando and Minnesota game. Um, Orlando does get back having 48 today, which makes it a little less, not as fun for Orlando, but I don't really think it's going to matter too, too much. Um, they, uh, one, what I hadn't said that their point guard is Aaron Gordon, Nikol, Nik, Nikola Vucevic, um, and they've really like stayed true to that. You saw last game, uh, both put up monster numbers, twenty two or twenty four and fourteen for Vucevic, and Aaron Gordon put up, um, yeah, eighteen, seventeen, and nine. Wouldn't expect that again, but this right here is a big thing for Aaron Gordon. Thirty six minutes. Um, he's a really really good when he gets the minutes, but he's been limited all year. Seems like he's healthy now. They're kind of unleashing him to 36 minutes. And he is handling the ball a ton. Uh, probably a little less so with Fortnite back, but he's still not like a point guard type player. So I'm definitely project projecting that Aaron Gordon stays on the ball more so. Um, and so I'll ask him 18 shots, nine assists. That's really, really what I'd like to see. Um, and Minnesota is really bad on defense. Um uh, for Nikola Vucevic, you know what to expect from him. He's gonna, as long as the game stays close, he's gonna get you down 30, 34 to 36 minutes. Um, and he is a walking 40. So this 8.6 price track tag is kind of a joke. Um, so I, I originally, like I was telling Gator this, he was my favorite player on the slate. Then I looked more into it, and there's a bunch of different centers that I really like. Um, but now with that game being canceled, I, I'm probably back to uh, definitely locking in Nik Nikola Vucevic here. Um, so on the other side of the ball, um, Vanderbilt is a guy that I like a ton. Uh, former Denver Nugget, he's always been productive when he plays, especially for fantasy. Um, does a lot of the dirty work. Uh, I think it is. Uh, I think it's D'Angelo Russell has said it that he does all the dirty work. Maybe it's Malik Beasley. It's one of the two, um, and it. Really proves he gets the rebounds, the blocks, the steals. Good passer as a big. Um, with no cat, no Juancha, Hernan Gomez, he got the start. Going to get the start again here today. And the Magic are not what they were defensively last year when they had Jonathan Isaac. Um, so I'm not afraid of this matchup at all, even though Aaron Gordon's a pretty solid defender himself, but nowhere near being scared of. Um I just think uh, with the last out game being taken away, there's not many value plays that I like very much here. Um, so getting a guy like Vanderbilt under 5K, it's going to be really tough to go away from. Look at here, just to make sure I didn't miss it. Yeah, the cheap guys are just not really there today. Um, so then the next team that I like a lot, as always, I like to play guys against the Hawks. And uh, so first we'll go to Derek Rose. Um, he was being very rarely used for a little bit there, uh, 11 minutes, 19 minutes. But uh, got up to 21 in it, minutes as a blowout, had a big game. And the last game was close. He got up to 27 minutes. Um, so it's going to come down if it stays close again. I do think it will stay close. Um, and 5.4, like, I'm fine with paying anywhere up to 6K for Derek Rose because his usage is so awesome off the bench. Um, so 5.4, I think is a really, really good price point. Um, you know, it, off the bench, he literally gets every shot he wants. Uh, and he just handles the ball the whole time. So if he gets up to this 27, I think it could get as much as 30. I probably wouldn't expect it. I'd probably expect around the same thing, but he, you just get really good usage here and a really fast paced matchup. So I'm going to the starting lineup. I don't know if I'm exactly going to, base my lineup off of Jeremy Grant. I actually like 
Blake Griffin a lot, but I, he did. I did see a report after last game that he was banged up pretty bad. Um, he's not listed as questionable or anything, but definitely some, something worth noting um, for how much he like. Because a guy like Blake Griffin, really explosive, obviously not that at that point anymore in his career, um, but still you want to see him on the ball. He's a really good passer. And, but uh, so for going next to him, Jeremy Grant. Uh, I talked to the Gator about this. It's really, really hard treating him as a stud, but he really is this year um, for DFS. Uh, could definitely get better rebounding, but we've seen uh, spikes of it. But the shots and the points, like, averaging 25 points a game, like definitely didn't expect that. Even though I expected it, up, it to go up, but that's massive jump. You're going to get – you're getting 19, 19, 19, 19, 15, 20, 25. 16, 24, like, here just getting monster shot attempts. Uh, and he's a good, def- like, good uh, statistic defender guy. So, uh, and get a fast-paced matchup where he's probably going to see DeAndre Hunter, I'd guess. Um, he's probably one of their better defenders. But, uh, and again, like, these types of guys, you don't really, like, worry about their matchups. They're, like, it's hard to explain, but it's, like, point guards are the guys in centers. Like, you factor matchups in a little more. Um but these like forward guys, there's so, so much switching and stuff like that that really don't look too much into matchups. But uh, it's like seven. His price point last game was uh, where is it? 82. Yeah, that's where he should be. Get a little nice 500 discount. And it's for the same reason that, uh, as I just said, like it's really hard to treat him as a stud. Um, so I think he's like a going to be lower end than he really should be if it, if the guy's name is. Paul George, you don't get that. Like, if it's the same exact statistics, you don't get that kind of ownership just because of the name. A guy like Jeremy Grant, no one wants to pay 7-7 seven, seven for him. So I just think it's a really good uh, – I don't even know if he'll be low end, but lower end, end than he should. So uh, hopefully this helps. Um, really, really uh, unfortunate that that game got canceled. But I'm still looking forward to uh, the contest tonight. So uh, as always, make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you next episode. Later.